Hi my beautiful people, it's Asia Marke here, Lemon Creation and today I'm making an art journal page uh, and I'm testing the products I got in my last unboxing video. And this is the second part of my unboxing video from uh, this week, beginning of this week. And I'm gonna be working with uh, Wendy Vecchi Make Art uh, Dye Inks. And I have three of them, so I'm gonna try them. This is my very first trial. I'm starting with Cornflower Blue. Uh, and yes, uh, to do this video, I was actually doing uh, voiceover or I was rather speaking when doing a video. And that's why uh, probably my uh, voice will not match exactly what I'm doing or uh, you know the movement of my hands but I just uh, I kind of was fed up with me talking uh, like that uh, on the straight away on the video and I decided to do voiceover instead so uh, I wanted to uh, use uh, jelly printing uh, uh, thingy <laughs> to do a project and because I have those three colors I decided to put them all three on the jelly print and just do a very 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 easy jelly printing because I am not very good at printing. I am showing you a kind of a swatch uh, of those three colors. Uh, I've noticed that the blue one, cornflower blue, is half dry. Uh, the green one is beautiful and the grey one actually looks kind of brownish, so I was really not happy with it. I spray them delicately with water after applying them to the uh, gel printing uh, mat. And now I'm just using the brayer to get a little bit of print. And the print is not bad. Even the blue one, which was uh, kind of, uh, you know, dry. Uh, and I could see that by uh, just pressing the pad. The pad was really dry uh, in comparison to other two colors it actually uh, printed quite nicely and now i wanted to see if i'm gonna get a little bit of reaction with water not really they are not oxide sink so you know not a uh, not a big uh, surprise here but i wanted to check you know how they are reacting either way i love the colors they are not bad even the gray one which is kind of for me you know going into a um, brown one is not that bad I had no idea what I'm gonna do with that. I was thinking I'm not gonna do any type of page, but then I decided that ah, since I am at it, I'm gonna try because I didn't buy this time any stamps from uh, you know any any other brand. I decided to use mine because why not and see uh, also how they are stamping with the inks. So like that, you know, I can uh, see how versatile they are. And I like the stamping I was just showing you here that there is tiny bit of reaction with water when I spray it but it's really not that visible. As for the stamping, it's stamping really well. Look at the circles, they are stamped very nicely. And so I'm using the other colors to just check uh, how well <laughs> they work. Because since I am doing projects with the new products, why not to try them, you know, to the full extent of the trial thing. <laughs> And uh, yes, the blue color, once again, you know, when it's stamped, it's actually quite dull. I really, really think uh, that it's dry, that I got the, uh, you know, old ink, which can happen because you never know how long they've been uh, staying or lying on the shelf. But maybe some of you have the same uh, color, it's a cornflower blue, and you have the same problem, so maybe it's just the color which is very, very... Uh, how do you say it? Dull. Dull, maybe not very, very crisp. And so the next step was to add a little bit of stenciling to see how it works through the stencil with the uh, sponge uh, dabber or a sponge applicator. And the green one, once again, uh, it's uh, as good as I would think it would be. The blue one, uh, no, on top of that, I think I got a little bit of transfer from my sponge, which was already used with Distress Oxides, uh, which you can see on the uh, pad. I didn't even bother because I think I am simply not gonna use the blue one uh, really um, that much, maybe ever, because it really does look dry. Even if I put my fingers on the pad, it's just, there is almost no transfer. 
but like that at least you know that it's um, they are working fine otherwise apart from the one which is uh, I really think that it's just a bad one I got old one and things like that happen sometimes you cannot really do too much about it uh, and now I'm using the woodies <laughs> I think woodies my, are my new love. Uh, they are really nice. I need to check how do they... Uh, I think I'm gonna actually buy more of them, first of all, at some point and check how do they react with water. Just make a kind of watercolor page. Uh, not exactly like this one. This one is just a page when I tried and I just did like a little of things without sense complete abstract thing and completely not mine because there is not white space so you know uh, for me making a page when there is no white space it's very very difficult and so i'm doing things very randomly and i'm quite often not happy with the way they they work but still i'm gonna uh, i'm trying <laughs> I'm trying so like that you can see uh, how everything works. I have to say that the uh, inks I put, they don't react uh, with water almost. So, you know, I am adding water on my brush and the wood is react with water and the rest staying put. So it's cool also. So as I said, I am thinking about buying a little bit more of woodies and there are boxes of woodies, I think of 12 and 18 colors, I'm not sure, uh, but you're gonna have a link to them on Amazon uh, in the description box below. Uh, by the way, if you press uh, the links and make a purchase, I will get a tiny bit of commission at no cost for you, which uh, it's, well, it's helping me a lot, uh, I have to say. And I'm thinking to actually uh, buy myself something like that uh, for the Christmas gifts because we're not gonna <laughs> be having uh, gifts this year. Me and my husband, uh, we decided to buy rather a little bit more for children and uh, we have to go to uh, my parents-in-law. So uh, well, we kind of decided to not celebrate that much. Uh, so I'm thinking that maybe a small box of woodies for like, I don't know, around 20 euro. I don't think even it's 20 euro. I don't remember. Could be really nice. So we'll see. And like that, I can, you know, do my watercoloring, even though I have already watercolor crayons, but they are just tiny crayons and I didn't, uh, I don't really like them. I don't know. They are not very oily. They don't have this nice texture. And those woodies are actually remi uh, reminding me a little bit of water soluble oil pastels. So, you know, uh, I like them. I really do. So there was a moment of sheer unhappiness uh, there when I had uh, seen no white on the page. That's why I use white china ink, one of my love or so lately. And I add a little bit of splatter. Then I try to use my Posca pen white. Uh, but I got the um, impression that the white was actually uh, reacting with uh, the colors and it was not very clear. And so that's why once again I'm using the uh, white china ink, which is really, really cool because it really, the color stays on the page more or less. Okay, because the page is quite, uh, you know, colorful, you know, the color blends a tiny bit still. But it's much better than Posca, I find it. Since the page is already quite colorful, I will not be using the Rabons from 49 and Market. And by the way, anyway, uh, in between those two movies, I think I've made already two shorts with 49 and Market products. So, you know, uh, you can check them out and I'm sure I'm gonna have more. Uh, that's why I also used uh, the Art by Marlene from Studio Light uh, Rabons, which I am using right now. And they are quite nice, uh, they are crunchy. Uh, so I like them. <laughs> and uh, it's hard to actually transfer them to the page. And that could be because the page is quite loaded with the mediums, mediums, crayons and paint and inks. And maybe it was not 100% dry, I don't know, but once added to the page, haha, <laughs> they are so beautiful. And uh, I absolutely love them. These two pages, I think she has two grungy pages. They're gonna be surely my favorite ones. And I thought that they will go quite nicely with the page. And I think I was not mistaken. And uh, honestly, at the beginning, I was thinking this page is gonna go to the bin. 
uh, it's gonna be completely uh, not cool, not good, not to my liking. Uh, once again, because there is no white space and I really don't feel comfortable working like that. Um, but also because I kind of thought, you know, I'm putting things randomly and it's just to check them, you know, to show you how they work. Since I'm doing the unboxing, I was thinking, you know, at the same time it's nice to, to do also a small trial of the things I bought. Uh, but uh, it grew on me, <laughs> the page grew on me and I said to myself, it's good, really, it's good to do something different, you know. And so I wanted a little bit more of colors because, uh, I don't know, because I felt like I need some color. And I found these leftovers from my hand handmade stickers. I sell in my shop also handmade stickers I've done some time ago, which I actually absolutely like. And I colored them, but you know, um, they were on the big piece of paper. And so I had these leftovers in between the circles, you know, and I kept them. I glued them, you know, just like that on the piece of, uh, you know, these uh, plastified packets. Uh, which doesn't look that great. I didn't at the time pay too much attention to it. I was thinking that I'm gonna throw them with some, you know, after some time. But I actually, from time to time, like to use them. And I think I have three or four projects with them already. And look at that. I so like uh, the choice of color. I don't know, because I usually uh, do the projects in the same color scheme or like with colors which go very well together, like uh, blue and green or I don't know, turquoise and blue and <laughs> things like that, which is kind of boring, I think. And I want to change and spice things up a little bit and even for you, but also for me, for my own, uh, you know, like uh, satisfaction and maybe for growing also as an artist, try things which are really out of my comfort zone. And this is one of them, you know, just adding colors, which I would think they would not go together because look at this page. I didn't almost have yellow. Oh, for sure I didn't have any purple and I put them there and I think it was a, not a bad idea to actually put them there because they gave a little bit of peps to the to the page, a little bit of color. Uh, they made it a little bit more alive, I think. Anyway, I'm really wondering what do you think about it, if I'm right or I should have maybe stopped. Uh, let me know in, in the comments below. Uh, I really, I don't know, I, this is so totally my creative process, but uh, it's nice to also uh, hear your ideas. And it's like uh, in the last page I've made the interactive one with, uh, um, with the drinks, you know, I don't know if you remember that a lot of you commented uh, on choosing the right uh, sentence uh, to this page which I am gonna, uh, I think, show you on Sunday, which one uh, uh, won. I'm gonna make a small short and small reels on my Instagram. And I really liked, you know, to uh, hear and to read your opinions and your ideas. Like you were saying, ah, oh, I think the black goes well. I like the first saying, but not in this color. Uh, this is really so cool because sometimes I don't think about something of course you cannot think about everything and then somebody is telling you something and then there is a click in your mind and you think yes it's obvious it's so cool and so i really like your opinion and i really appreciate them uh, in the meantime i was trying to choose uh, some focal points i was completely lost i was trying a little bit of acetate flowers and finally i went for my christmas trees because uh, of this white splatter which i am now making even <laughs> bigger uh, and I thought kind of, I don't know why, the green reminded me a little bit of the uh, green of the forest. So I said, okay, I'm gonna go like that with a little bit of grunginess from my Christmas trees. They are the ones which are available as a digital fire, uh, file in my shop. Once again, the link is down below. Uh, and of course, with every purchase, you have a possibility of choosing your free digital files in form of stars, which are also there, so you can just put it, put them in your basket. And I am gonna finish with my Christmas words. And it's very grungy, my page, I think. But even despite the grunginess, I think it's quite, quite a happy page, thanks to the yellow and purple accents, or pink accents, rather. Uh, and so that's it. 
I hope you really enjoyed that and um, let me know if this type of videos when I unbox things and then uh, do some projects with them is something which would interest you in the future. Uh, anyway, I'm trying to, you know, shake things up a little bit and do different projects uh, so you are not bored. So there is always something new, you can see new products, new techniques, something, you know, I cannot do them all uh, or in every single video, but I'll try as much as I can to, to you know, show you different, different things. And this is it. Thank you so much for subscribing and for watching. I'm sending you big hugs and I'll see you in my next video, I hope. Bye bye.